Maybe not surprising, but dramatic to see in numbers, there is a huge gap between how AI experts think about artificial intelligence and how the general public does. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. Artificial intelligence is one of those areas where the general public has had to become aware of and dig into a new technology way faster than they normally have in the past. Now, obviously, this is expressed in terms of the number of different people who are users of these tools. ChatGPT is already at 500 million weekly users, for example, which is just an absolutely insane growth curve, unlike anything we've ever seen. But there is still a huge amount of questions around AI, even among people who are users of the technology. It's evolving at such a fast pace that it's quite natural, I think, for people not to be sure about how it's going to play out. On top of that, you have people screaming about IP theft over here or robots taking over over there. And so trying to get a handle on how people actually think and feel about this space can be pretty tricky, which is why I think that this new research from Pew is very valuable. Pew Research has just dropped a study they call How the U.S. Public and AI Experts View Artificial Intelligence. Now, Pew has been tracking AI adoption actually since before ChatGPT, and so is in a better position than most to actually have a sort of longitudinal view of things. This study was a deep dive on how the U.S. public views AI and how that differs from the opinions of experts in the field. Now, on the public side, Pew surveyed a sample of 5,400 people, evenly distributed between genders and with a good spread of age and ethnicity. The way they defined AI experts was actually kind of interesting. They write, We defined AI experts as individuals who demonstrate expertise via their work or research in artificial intelligence or related fields. We focused on only those who live in the United States. To identify these individuals, we created a list of authors and presenters at 21 AI-focused conferences from 2023 to 2024. This list was developed in consultation with project advisors. Now, obviously, there are always reasons to quibble with any statistical methodology, but I think that this is a fairly decent approach. I think expert is an inherently subjective term, and you could do worse than deciding that expert means people who other people thought were worth inviting to speak at a conference. Now, once again, unfortunately... The biggest gripe I have with this, and my goodness, I wish that surveyors would increase their speed to reports. I don't know, maybe use some AI or something, because this data was all collected last fall. In other words, we had barely touched agents. OpenAI had just released, and not even widely, their first ever reasoning model. No one had ever heard of DeepSeek. It was just, in short, a different world. And so I think that is a big grain of salt you have to take all of this with. Still, to the extent that we view this is an interesting case study in the gap between experts and the general public... I think it's pretty interesting. Pew started with the biggest topic. Basically, is AI going to be a net negative or a net positive thing? AI experts were wildly more optimistic than the general public. 56% of experts said that AI was going to be positive versus just 17% of the normal public, who I will occasionally call normies, which is absolutely a term of endearment. Now, in those normie sections, 35% said that they thought that AI would be more negative as compared to 15% of AI experts who said that it would be more negative than positive. About a third of U.S. adults said that it would be equally negative and positive, versus 23% of AI experts. So, really stark difference here. The reasoning might be in the eye of the beholder. Is it that the more you know about AI, the more optimistic you are? Or is this just people being excited about their bags? That's a bit of a glass-half-full, glass-half-empty debate, but it is notable that about 76% of AI experts think that AI will benefit them personally, as opposed to just 24% of U.S. adults who think that AI will benefit them personally. Now, asking somewhat more granular questions, when asked whether AI would make humans more productive, a resounding majority of AI experts, 74%, said yes. That's compared to just 17% of general U.S. adults. To me, this is one of the questions that most dramatically shows the experience gap between these two groups. Hold aside any expertise. Now, one area where no group was particularly optimistic was when answering the questions, will AI make humans happier? Only 6% of non-expert U.S. adults said that it was extremely or very likely, but only 22% of experts said that it was very or extremely likely, with 35% of experts saying that it was not too or not at all likely that AI would make people happier. Now, happier is one of the more subjective terms, so I don't know how much you can read into this, but it certainly shows that some types of optimism are at least a little bit limited. In general, experts think AI is going to be a lot more impactful than normies do. For example, just 23% of U.S. adults said that AI would be somewhat or very positive in terms of how people do their jobs, as opposed to 73% of experts. Only 21% of U.S. adults thought that AI's impact on the economy would be somewhat or very positive, as opposed to 69% of AI experts. The one area where there was the most optimism was around medical care. 84% of AI experts said that AI would be very or somewhat positive, and a full 44% of general U.S. adults also said the same. The area where there was the most alignment of AI's negative impact was around news, 
with just 10% of general U.S. adults and 18% of AI experts saying that AI would have a positive impact on the news. And the lowest surveyed area was around elections, with only 9% of general U.S. adults and only 11% of AI experts saying that AI would have a positive effect. Now, as you might imagine, one of the big questions was around jobs. Experts have a fairly mixed view on how AI is going to impact jobs. When asked what they thought the impact of AI on jobs would be, 39% of experts said that there would be fewer jobs, versus 33% who said that there would be not much difference, versus 19% who said that there would be more. A full 64% of non-expert U.S. adults thought that AI would mean fewer jobs. Now, I think that this intuitively reflects people's sense that companies are always looking for ways to cut costs, and if AI really does get as good as it seemed like it's going to, of course there's going to be fewer jobs. What that perspective doesn't take into account, and what it's likely that many of the AI experts are taking into account, is the countervailing forces of new jobs and new industries that will be created by the technology. One area of commonality was in inaccurate information, misinformation, impersonation, data misuse. 66% of adults overall and 70% of experts are highly concerned about people getting inaccurate information from AI. Interestingly, the general public is way more worried than AI experts are about the loss of human connection. 57% of the public is highly concerned about that outcome of AI, as opposed to just 37% among experts. 55% of both groups say that they're highly concerned with bias in decisions made by AI. And again, the one area of biggest divergence between these two groups is around job loss. Just 25% of AI experts were extremely or very concerned about AI-related job loss, as opposed to 56% of general U.S. adults. Overall, even though this is from October, I think it's an extremely useful survey. Now, if I had to guess... What do I think would have changed in that period of time? My guess is that overall, we would see a slight convergence of opinions simply on the basis of the fact that more people over the last six months have been exposed. ChatGPT has basically doubled its usage in that time. And so I would expect to see some changes in opinion from the U.S. public. Unfortunately, based on the way that people still do surveys, we'll probably have to wait another year to find out. Anyways, friends, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Appreciate you listening as always. And until next time, peace.